Hello, this is Mark Adams with Next Level Business Advisors. I'm your profitability and growth advisor. And I wanted to give you just a few minutes today uh, to share a tip with you when it comes to wealth building. The tip that I'm going to share with you actually uh, formulates or circulates around tax planning. Now, you might be asking why tax planning and wealth building. We'll get to that in a minute. But before we do, I wanted to explain to you why I wanted to share this tip with you. I, I had a client recently come to the office and she has a practice and she mentioned to me that she is on an installment agreement with the IRS for back taxes. And that's understandable. It can happen to anyone. This year, however, she already knows that she's going to owe the IRS money and she figures she'll just throw that onto the installment agreement as well. Uh, that's not the best course of action when we think about building wealth. In fact, it can lead to a pretty bad cyclical effect of debt. So I shared some thoughts with her on how she can mitigate her taxes going forward. And I thought that would be a good tip to share with you as well. But firstly, we'll ask the, answer the question, why plan your taxes proactively? And it's really a good question, but here's the answer. Income tax is one of the largest expenses that you're going to have in your practice. And interestingly enough, there's many things that you can do to lower your taxes, even though you might not realize it. One of the first things that you can do, not in lowering your taxes, but in managing your tax bill, is to calculate and make estimated payments throughout the year. Right? The value of that is that at the end of the year, at the tax deadline, April 15th, October 15th, or whatever the government does at this point in time, when your taxes are due, you would have already paid a portion of it so that you don't have this big financial uh, check that you need to write at that moment. It's one of the most powerful things you can do in managing cash flow when it comes to taxes. But I wanted to also share with you two tips that you can use to lower your tax bill. And these two tips are just two of many, but Obviously, time doesn't allow us to get into too many. So these are two high level tips that you can use. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can get a visual of what we're talking about briefly. So let me share my screen. I'm going to dart my eyes. Uh, hopefully you see my screen. And we're going to talk about two tips that you can use to lower your tax bill. The first tip deals with planning for retirement. Right? And you see a couple of samples up there. There's a simple IRA, the SEP IRA, the 401k. Each one of these retirement plans allows you as a practice owner to save money for retirement in different ways. Right? The earnings on the investments that you make are tax deferred until retirement and the contributions can be tax deductible. Now, each one of these retirement plans has a pro, a con, they're good for one type of entity or another, uh, You, your job, is to re to do the research to do the review or to work with an advisor like myself to come up with the best retirement plan for you in your practice. Uh, if you do that, you can save hundreds, if not thousands or tens of thousands of dollars each year in tax planning. The second tip that i'm going to show you right now deals with entity choice choosing the proper entity structure most of us when we start out our business we start as a sole proprietor. It's the easiest way to start. Maybe we do LLC for legal protection, but there are other entities that you might use that might be of value to you, right? You have your PLLC. You can take these LLCs and elect to be taxed as a corporation, whether it's a C corporation or an S corporation. Again, each one of these business entities has pluses and minuses, pros and cons. Your responsibility and of course, working with an advisor again, is to choose the entity that works best for you. Even if you've been in business for a number of years, it doesn't necessarily hurt to look at your entity and say, is this the best type of entity for my practice at this point in my business life? These tips are just two of many tips that you can use to lower your tax bill. The question is often asked, when's the best time to start thinking about this. When's the best time to plan uh, to open up my retirement account or to look at my business structure? Well, the answer is right now. <laughs> Too many times people wait until the last minute tax day, tax deadline day, December 31st to ask questions like this. If you do it December 31st, you're at the absolute deadline. If you do it January 1st, the year is over for most of us. History has been written, there's nothing we can do. But doing things now allows you to proactively plan 
and lower your tax bill by hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, not just for this year, but for future years to come. Uh, I work with my practice owners throughout the year to do things like estimated taxes, uh, giving them a plan so that they don't have a large nut to cut. We talk about where to defer taxes and even we'll discuss entity structures. If you have a question uh, regarding entity choices, if you have a question regarding retirements or anything else really that's related to your tax planning for this year and upcoming years, I'm gonna share my screen with you once again, or another slide I should say, which gives you a link to my calendar, right? Feel free to take advantage of the free 45 minute discovery call that we have for practice owners, where we try to give them at least one valuable tip to help them to either lower taxes now and in the future, but more importantly, grow their bottom line, their personal pocket for the future. We thank you for giving me some time. I hope that this was helpful, and I would love for you to tune into future tips that we share with our practice owners. Thanks again.